coming on to another video. So it turns out I miss vlogging, so I've decided to film a vlog today. Um, so, I'm gonna look at my car. I don't know why, but this morning I just completely forgot what time I go to school. Like I said, I don't do the same thing every week, but I just completely forgot. So I woke up an hour early, and so now I'm heading to school, because I'm ready an hour early. And I'm gonna get there an hour early, but... You know what, that's okay. I'll find something to do with myself because, oh, for frick, frick. <laughs> Lately, I have been a bit worn out from school, a bit burnt out. So this week, I think I'm going to cut going to the gym, maybe. I like going to the gym. I don't want to cut it, but we're going to see how this goes. Because I really want to get all of my work, my homework done by Thursday so that I can weekend free to just chill and do what I want and just just relax, take a second. I'm also committing to going to sleep by 10, by 11, the latest, but the goal is 10 p.m. on um, Mondays and Wednesdays, because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have to wake up at 6 in order to make it to class by 9.30. So since I'm waking up at 6, I want to get you know, some sleep so that I'm not always tired and always suffering. So, yeah, that's that's the goal for this week, to finish all my work and get some sleep so that I can stop feeling quite so burnt out. Hopefully that works. Hopefully I don't just, you know, want to cry all week, but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start driving to school, and I'll pick up with you guys when I get there, and we'll talk about what I'm going to do for an hour before class. I think this is going to be a week-long vlog instead of a day vlog because I do have a goal for the week so we can record the whole week at once. We're, we're going to see, okay? So I'm off to school. Bye-bye. class starts in 20 minutes and I don't know how I managed to make that whole page that I was doing so ugly but I did it's hideous but it'll work like I really don't care enough um my professor's not here yet so I'm waiting outside the room I'm gonna do some studying I have an exam today at 6 30. I've studied for it for about an hour so it's not looking good at the present moment so I have to study for that and then I need to get into this class before it starts. I hope my professor gets here on time because I still need to, we're turning in our projects today, but I still need to render my video. I tried doing it like at another computer, but it doesn't work because these in this lab are MacBooks and all the other computers are PCs and they're just not being compatible. Like it's just, it's not working out. So I need to use this lab specifically, but only professors can uh, get in there. So I need my professor to unlock the labs that I can go and render my project before class starts, if, if he doesn't come early enough, then, yeah, yes. I finished class, turned in my project, and somebody said, woo, like, at the end we clapped for each other, but I got a woo, so, must have been good stuff, alright, um, yeah, <laughs> I came in this lab to work for a bit, now I am packing up my things, I thought I had something to say to you while I packed up my things, um, well, Okay, so today I'm not going to the gym because, like I said, my goal this weekend is to not have any homework. So I'm cutting out the gym today so that I can study for my exam and do some work. And um, I'm not happy about it. Like, I keep thinking about it. And I'm just like, yeah, I really kind of wish I was going to the gym instead of not. Um, like, I already have enough problems. I don't need the problem of, oh, I'm ugly. And then being like, oh, well, of course you're ugly. You didn't go to the gym. You know, really don't need that in my life. But it's going to be worth it to like, finish all my work before the weekend. And then can just chill all weekend and not do anything. So we just, we 
we need to stay goal oriented. Who's weak? It's just me. I need to stay goal oriented and I just need to focus on A, what I'm doing, and B, why I'm doing it. So we're about to go to my car, switch to the other campus, and then just not go to the gym and continue working until my exam. And then I'm going to not go to the gym and go home. Then I'm going to be in bed by 11. And uh, we're going to try this again tomorrow. So there's your itinerary. <laughs> Off to the parking lot. Where are my keys? Right now it's midnight, and I couldn't sleep. Um, like I got to bed by ten, like I said I would, and then I couldn't fall asleep because my stomach was hurting. <sighs> Come to realize it was hurting because of food poisoning. So now I'm awake at midnight because I have to throw away my vomit bag. Love my life. My stomach still hurts a little, but I'm not sure if it's because I need to go out more or because I'm hungry. It's been about, I don't know, I threw up and I waited a good while before I was done with my day, so I'm going to try water. And I mean, I'm supposed to eat crackers, but of course, there aren't any crackers. We don't have anything viable in my house. Can I eat tortilla chips? I guess I'll talk to you guys while I try and cure myself. So, I went through school. Not lately. For the past couple of weeks in school, I feel like I'm not really doing anything. Um, I really want to get involved with a club, but not just like a club where you go to meetings and just show up, like a club where you can actually do something and can actually help people in some way. Like in high school, I used to do, I was student council treasurer, so I was in student council. Um, I was vice president of National Art Honor Society, so I was organizing events, like community service events for us that were art related. And I just... I had more leadership roles, and I felt like I was doing well with myself, like, art-wise, leadership-wise, organizing things was fun, and just community service, like, I participated. Not, like, in donating blood, but in helping people who did donate blood, in a blood drive, stuff like that. Anyways. Yeah, and I definitely haven't done any of that in college, so... So I wanted to join student government or um, peer leading or something, but it seems like it might be too late. There's a meeting on Friday about something that might be similar to peer leading, but I don't really know. I have to go to the meeting and see, but um, yeah, it might be too late for me this semester, but if it is, at least I know what I'm aiming for next semester. Oh, my stomach hurts after that water, so I'm not so sure about these tortilla chips. I'm just gonna lay down. I'm just gonna lay down. Howdy. Nope. Yep, it is about 2 p.m. on Tuesday. I'm feeling better. Um, not nauseous anymore, so better. Um, one thing about getting old growing up is... You know, when you throw up on the floor, you're 20, so you're expected to clean it up yourself. Um, I'm making cream of wheat for breakfast because I hear it's good for upset stomachs and I don't want to eat anything that's going to make me feel any kind of way. I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner because I do not trust the food in my house right now, but let's just worry about this breakfast first. All I've eaten today is like a handful of tortilla chips and some water. That's actually all I've eaten since... 
10 p.m. and I started feeling sick, so that's 16 hours on a couple sips of water and like five tortilla chips, so I do need to get some food in my system, but I'm feeling better. i um, very been very tired today. Um, you know, I have a project due Thursday that I can't really work on tomorrow, so I don't really know when I'm going to do it because I can't do it today because I need to do it at school. I guess I have to do it tomorrow. All right, well, realizing right now that I'm screwed for Thursday, I might have to turn in nothing because you don't know how I'm going to finish that project. But, um, yeah, okay, so it's a project that we're doing. I'll just explain while I make my cream of wheat. It's a project we're doing on Illustrator. This is trash. Um... Where can I put you? It's a project we're doing on Illustrator, which I only have access to at the school. So I'm finding that I don't know how I'm going to finish it because, like, I usually don't do homework on Mondays and Wednesdays because I have to get home so that I can go to sleep to wake up early for my Tuesday, Thursday class. Now I'm thinking, um, I mean, if I don't go to the gym, that can be three hours of work that I put in, but I honestly don't think I can finish in three hours. I think I need, like, nine hours, which I just don't have. I also don't have enough cream of wheat. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to, I mean, I might have to skip econ to get it all done. She's empty. Um... Don't don't know how I'm gonna get that project done, and also I don't think this cream of wheat's gonna come out right because I didn't put enough cream of wheat to water to like match the ratio. Oh yeah, this definitely ain't it. I don't know what else I can eat that won't upset me. Maybe some toast. Their toast is good. What else? That's really all I've caught. I really don't trust any of the food in my house. Like, I don't want to eat anything that's in this house. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get that project done. Um, and I don't even know what I'm going to eat. So I don't know why I'm worried about a project when, you know, starvation is right around the corner. Hello again. Um, it is 12.29. On Tuesday night, basically Wednesday, because it's 12:29. Um, I am eating a Chick-fil-A medium fry for dinner because I don't really think I can keep anything else down. Uh, today I've had maybe a handful of tortilla chips, that one tablespoon cooked of cream of wheat that we saw in the attempt to make, and now a medium fry, and that's all I've eaten today. Hopefully tomorrow my eating is like I'm able to eat more. But like, really just the thought of eating anything repulses me. Especially anything with dairy. Like I'm just like, cereal, no. Pizza, where? Eggs, ew. Eggs aren't dairy. But I imagine like boiled eggs with mayonnaise and the mayonnaise is like killing it now. Um, if I eat this and I'm still hungry, I still have a bit left. If I eat this and I'm still hungry, I might have some toast. Or some dry cereal. But, like, dairy and meat are just too much for me today. And that's kind of the majority of what I usually eat. So that's the majority of what's available to me. And vegetables are just not filling. There's no point in me eating that. So, yeah, we're just going to see how this whole eating situation goes. But tomorrow, no gym because I have to catch up on work I missed today from missing class. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. We'll be going to my favorite classes are on Monday, Wednesdays. So we'll be going to motion graphics and econ tomorrow. Ooh, it is 10.30 on Wednesday, and I'm about to grab some snacks. I'm in the pantry. Grab some snacks and then leave for school, which means I'm going to get there early again so I can do some work that I missed out on because I was sick. I can't see if I can go down. Okay, I'm going to be looking for snacks. So um, today there's not really a lot of food in my house. On top of that, I don't really trust the food in my house, so I'm going to be eating out today. I think I'm just going to survive on Chick-fil-A, but I do want to bring some snacks for times when I can't like, stop at the Chick-fil-A and get a sandwich. Um, I ate breakfast. Like, I ate cereal. 
And the way my stomach feels is making me wonder if eating cereal was really the best decision for me. We don't even have any snacks. Okay, well, I have an applesauce and a Nature Valley bar. That's just going to have to work. The way my stomach is feeling is making me wonder if eating cereal was really the best decision for me. But it was all we had for breakfast, so I ate it. Um, now I'm just putting my snacks in my bag and then we're going to go to school. And um, basically on Thursday, which is tomorrow, I have a project due that I'm honestly probably not even halfway done with. Like, it's truly a tragedy, my project for that class. Um, and this is nothing new. Like, the way my professor sets up her class, it's like she doesn't want us to finish anything on time. She'll always have assignments be due. But then, like, it's an art class. Art classes are three hours long because you're supposed to work on your art project while you're in class. My professor seems to have missed this memo, so she'll always have projects be due, like, maybe a day or two before she lets us start working on it in class. So she's basically given us two days in class to finish this project. I missed one of the days because I was sick. And, you know, the project really, truly takes, like, maybe five or six days in class. So the way her class is set up, it's like she expects us to do projects for homework, but then she gives us other homework. So I don't really know, like, what the problem is. All we do in class is waste our time. Like, she'll try and show us demos on how to use the program, but she just goes so slow for no reason. She'll be like, okay, first we're going to open Photoshop. To do that, first thing we need to do is touch your mouse. Like, wow, sweetie, you don't say. She acts like we've never used a computer before a day in our lives. And it's really annoying because we're all art majors, so most of us have used Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and or um, Acrobat before. It's the Adobe Suite. Most of us have used these programs before, but she acts like we've literally never even seen a computer before. And we never make any progress. It's really annoying. So yeah, I'm about to go to school. And work on my project for that class and hopefully not fail. Hello YouTube! So I know what you're thinking. This camera angle is trash. Your camera is facing the wrong direction. You, what are you doing? Um, I might just like talk and say what I need to say for this part and then replace the audio, I mean the video, with just like stock footage. But I need to talk about something that has been, I'm driving to school by the way, which is what I'm always doing, but I need to talk about something. I'm going to turn this light off eventually, but I need to talk about something that has been bothering me for a long, long time that I don't really think I can talk to anyone else about. And like, I know nobody watches my videos. I know nobody's going to see this at the end of the day, but I don't know. There's a chance someone might, and I just feel better talking about it. Let me explain the situation before I start talking. First of all, it is 7.05 a.m. I usually wake up at 6 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have class at 9.30, but because my commute is so long and there's traffic in the mornings, I have to leave the house at 7 to get to school by 9 to get to class at 9.30, so I wake up at 6. And, but like, if you ever watch Sienna and Powers, she'll just sit down and talk to her camera, and she doesn't care if the video quality is crap or if the audio is crap. She just sit there and talk and say what she needs to say. And I like her. I like her videos. I like the things that she has to say. So I'm just going to say what I have to say today. And if this video is crap, then that's just the way that this is going to be. Yeah, so... I don't know where to start. First of all, I don't want to start anywhere. I'm just... I'm really tired of school. Like, I've been burnt out. I was burnt out probably even the past two weeks. And this week, like I said, I wanted to get ahead on all my work so that I could have a weekend off. But I didn't get to do that because I got sick. And so now I'm behind, if anything. I still didn't go to the gym all week. And it wasn't so that I could catch up. It wasn't so I could put myself together. It was just so that, like, I could catch up on what I missed from being sick for literally one day. Like, one day! ruined everything. I know I'm going to have homework for this class that I'm going to drawing to. I missed this. And I know the homework is going to be to make up the assignment we did in class, which was 
an hour long, two hour long drawing. Like I don't have two hours to sit there and draw somebody. And especially like it was a model drawing. I don't have a model who's gonna sit still for me for two hours. Like what the, how am I supposed to make that up? I'm really tired. And then like, okay, I, my body hurts. It really physically does. And I thought that this constant body pain was because I was always going to the gym. I thought I was just sore and achy from going to the gym and working hard. But I haven't been to the gym once, so why am I still in pain? Like, why do I still feel this way? And, you know, I've come to realize waking up early is just not it for me. And I know I sound like a bit of a, um, I'm, I don't even care. I know I sound like a bit of a bitch complaining about waking up at 6 when people do that all the time, every day, for, for high school, for work, for college, for all kinds of reasons. People wake up at 6 every day. I only have to do it literally twice a week, but I'm just, like, I can't. The, waking up at this time is, is just the worst part of my week by far. And, like, I literally count the days left until the semester is over and I don't have to wake up more to go to the stupid class and you know I'm taking six classes 18 credit hours this semester and the, the reason I did that is because I'm trying to graduate I don't like my school I don't have any friends I don't I'm not involved in anything that I want to be involved in and like I could get involved but I can't this semester because everything I want to get involved in is like you have to have been at the school year and I'm a transfer so this is my second semester now so I can only start getting into things I want to do next semester which might be good for next semester, but I also might not have any freaking time next semester because last semester my issue was that I was never at school. I only had school two days a week, so I couldn't get involved in anything because if it was on a day when I was at school, I had class. And if it was on another day, I wasn't at school and I wasn't about to drive an hour, hour and a half, two hours to go to some club meeting. I just wasn't going to do it. Now I have school four days a week. That gives me much more chances to go to club things, but I can't do the things that I want to do because you have to have been at the school for a year. I want to do, like, leadership positions. You know, I feel like I talked about that already, but it doesn't even matter. I'm just really tired. I'm really tired. I don't understand why. I shouldn't be this tired. And it's only February. I think it's, like, mid-February right now. I don't even know what the date is. I think it's, like, mid-February. And I'm, I'm exhausted, and I don't want to do this anymore. And, like, part of the reason I took this many credit hours... Shut up! Part of the reason I took this many credit hours was so I could graduate a semester early. Because I, you know, as a transfer, when I was at my old school, we're going to call it state. When I was at state, I really... I really enjoyed that school, and I didn't enjoy my major, which is why I moved, but I enjoyed the professors a lot. They all were really nice, and a lot of them had a lot of stuff to teach me. I learned more at that school in a semester than I have at this school in a year, and it was more valuable, and I just really, really liked that school. I had not, like, good friends like I would want, but I had some semblance of people who I could associate with. Like, if I wanted to go to a party, I had some people I could ask. I lived on campus, so I had roommates, and that was amazing. I had friends in my classes, and even if I didn't have friends in my classes, I still talked to people, and a lot of my classes were open studios, so we all just talked all the class period while we worked on our art. It was just really nice. And this semester I do have an open studio class. It's the class I'm going to now, but we don't talk at all because I don't know why. Maybe we need to focus. Maybe my professor doesn't like us talking. I don't know what it is, but just the vibe we get in there is that we can't talk to each other, so we just don't. I haven't spoken to anyone in that class, and I really like the major. Like, my class that I have on Monday, Wednesday, is the first class I've started that's even, like, any way related to my major. And I love it. Like, it's so much fun. And I would love to do that for a job. It's motion graphics. I would love to do that for a job. But I just, I, I like the major. That's all I like. I don't like the location. I do not like the school. I don't have any friends. I, I just, I'm here just starting credit. 
so me crying right now does not count at all. But I just really feel like I missed out on, on, on what college is supposed to be. And like I know it's different for everyone. I knew it wasn't going to be like some big party every day. I wasn't going to turn into some social butterfly. Like all that wasn't going to happen for me. That's just not the way that I am. I knew that going into it. And I know that now. But I really just like thought, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really thought that, um, I don't know. I was going to enjoy myself. I can't figure out how to get to Chick-fil-A. There's no turn lane to get into it. It's on the other side of the road. And there's potholes everywhere. Why? We just had... What did we have here? I don't know. The Super Bowl. I live in Georgia, okay? I live in Georgia. We just had the Super Bowl here. And they said they were going to fix all the potholes for the Super Bowl. I guess they literally only fixed them in the heart of Atlanta. And the rest of the state is just fucked and we can all just die. Um, yeah, I really feel like I missed out on what college is supposed to be. Like a fun time to make friends and go to parties and, you know, learn with people who care about what you care about. And it's supposed to be a good time. And I'm not having a good time. And, you know, I didn't really expect to have a good time. I just would have liked one. I just would have appreciated it. Oh, everything's not completely shitty. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I've made it to Chick-fil-A. A school bus honked at me, but I literally don't care. Like, kill me if you want. I don't care anymore. <sighs> yeah, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get my food. I'll be right back. I'm back, and I do have the GPS on. So if you hear Siri talking to me, like, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Truth is, Chick-fil-A is not on the way. I have to go out of my way to come here. But I, lo like, legit don't care at all. I do it pretty much every Tuesday. Like, I don't care. Um, right. So, I don't even know where I left off. But, yeah. I used to go to state. It was a lot more fun. Now I'm here, and it's not fun. And I don't really expect... Then Shut up. I didn't really... Left Church Let me just start driving, because Siri's going to be upset with me for a minute. Thank you. Thank you. If you live in a state where cars don't let you over, I feel so bad for you. I don't know how you ever get anywhere. Like, I didn't expect college to be, like, some new experience, because I know, like, I'm not good at making friends. I know I'm not good at talking to people. Uh, making friends isn't something I do often, so I knew I wouldn't be really experienced with it. You know, I knew that. Shut up! I knew that, but I expected to have somebody in my corner. Or at least a couple people. Like, I just really thought things were going to be somewhat different. Like, dang, can I get one friend? One? One? And when I say I don't have any friends, I mean I don't have... Like, it's not that I don't have any close friends. It's not that I don't like my associates. It's that I do not have a single friend. Like, I could go... A whole school day, a whole school week without saying a word to anyone. And actually, I don't know why I say could. That's basically what I do. I now have one class where I sort of talk to the people next to me, but that's literally it. Like, that's the closest thing I have to any semblance of human socialization at school. And it's lonely. I hate it. I have, you know. And then there's the whole thing of like, well, just talk to your friends who don't go to your school. Talk to your friends outside of school. What friends outside of school? Who are you referring to? You know, I had friends outside of school, but I messed that up. Those friendships are gone because of various situations. But, but you know, some of it is like genuinely the friendship ending. Some of it is me just being too scared or too untrusting or just too, like, I'm just, I know that I'm putting too much on people because of how lonely it can be sometimes. So I don't want to start talking to people and then expect the world to them 
when they don't have the world to offer. You know, you're usually not people's biggest concern. So I don't, like, I'm personally just scared to talk to my friends because I feel like I'm just going to mess it up. So I'm isolating myself, which is poor practice, but it's what I'm doing. And I don't have anywhere to go to. And people say that all the time, but it's usually a bit of an exaggeration. Like, I really don't have anyone I feel like I can go to. And I started to make a new friend from work. Um, I quit that job, and she still started talking to me, so I thought that we were going to be friends. And maybe we are. Maybe I'm just jumping the gun here, but we haven't talked in a couple days. And even if we are going to be friends, I know I'm doing, I'm, I know I'm putting too much dependency on this friendship. Like, I'm sitting here trying to act like she's going to be my new best friend when we've shared, like, three days for some text message conversations. Like, it's not even that deep. But I'm just expecting too much from her because she's all I have at this point. I think I said earlier I was trying to graduate a semester early. I'm like, okay, next semester I would also have to take 18 credit hours to, you know, graduate a semester early. I'd have to take 18 credit hours um, all next year, and then my last semester would be 15 credit hours, and then that's it. Um, which is fine in theory. Like, I can do 18 credit hours. It's not a problem, I don't think. The problem is the timing. If I have to wake up early, if I have more early classes, I'm not doing it. Like, I just can't. I cannot do this again. But also, I think, well, if I can get out a semester early, that's a whole other semester that I don't have to deal with any of this. I can just get out. I can go travel after graduation like I wanted to. I can, I'm going to make sure Siri is still directing. I can go travel after graduation like I wanted to. I can go and be, I can move in with my boyfriend, I can go live in any state I want to, I can get a job, I can do whatever I want, and you know, graduating is scary, it's not anything I'm ready for, living a life is not anything I'm ready for, but I don't enjoy my school, and I don't want to be there, I want to leave, so graduating is kind of how you do that. Also, I hate driving. I spend my entire life driving because my school is so far away. And I'm, just, I'm so tired of it. Like, unbelievably sick. I'm driving. And they are. But it might be things that I need to deal with to graduate early. You know, maybe graduating early. Why are you seeing a car that got in front of me? I move out of the lane because it was going too slow. And I start to get in front of it, and now it's speeding up. Like, are you serious? You're going too slow. Let me in front of you. I'm tired. I'm tired of driving. So sick. So ill. So queasy from driving places and being behind these stupid-ass cars. And now he's in front of me, right? So now I'm going to merge back in the lane, and then he's going to be going too slow again. disgusting. Ignore that. So I'm at school. I'm at the other campus. And remember that project? I think I mentioned it yesterday that I had to finish because I missed class when we finished it in class. So I have to finish it outside of class. Did not finish it yesterday. So I have to finish it today. I have three hours until class starts. Got to do the whole project and the like write-up report for it. It's, um, it's a stretch. But I might finish. Like, I have some hope. I have some faith. And if not, I would just turn in what I got and tell my teacher to kick rocks. Because I did my best. Like, I got food poisoning, sis. Like, what do you want from me? And we also had, like, a little, like, extra little side assignment due today. But I ain't even looked at that. Like, that is absolutely not getting turned in at all. Like, period. Period. It's not happening today. But, frick. <laughs> I'm just trying to pull myself together, pack up, get ready to go inside of the building and start working on my project. But of course, my whole life is falling apart as I'm trying to do this because why would this just work out for me? Yeah, this is my constant life. Just constantly on the move, constantly having to do something. I'm either doing something that's due later, doing something that's due in like 10 seconds. I, I haven't been behind yet, but I'm about to be. Like I have to make up an assignment this weekend that I missed. <sighs> because I was freaking sick. I'm so annoyed. Like, 
can I just be sick and like have peace? Like, why do I have to get food poisoning and like suffer that and then suffer missing a day of school? Like, why? Why? And both my professors are like, bring a doctor's note. Nick, I didn't go to the doctor. Was I supposed to go to the doctor at two in the morning when I started throwing up? Or, you know, at like 10 a.m. when the doctor's office opened and I was already through throwing up, like, what are they going to say? What are they going to do? Should I bring them a vomit sample? Like, do you have $30 for my copay? Like, go to the doctor where? Go to the doctor who? Go to the doctor why? Hmm? And so they're just like, oh, well, it's an unexcused absence. Like, bitch, we will fight. We will box. We will box. I don't have time to sit here and talk to you guys, unfortunately. I really do have to get inside of school. Uh, but, you know. This was a good, this was a, this was a fun moment, this that we shared right here, but I gotta go do my project, so bye! Hey guys, so the day's over, didn't film a gosh darn thing from today, but I do have some artwork here, and I feel like I should show you guys my artwork, you know, I have a lot of it, I should show off some of it, but this is one that I turned in last week, two weeks ago, I don't know, it's a Photoshop piece, obviously I printed it out. There's like a design process explanation on the back, but it's mainly the Photoshop piece about me finding myself, you feel? <laughs> um, yeah, I just never show you guys any of my artwork. This is what I do all day. I'm studying digital animation, but I take a lot of, um, because I'm an art major and also because my major at State, the other school I went to, was just studio art. Um, bachelor of Fine Arts and Studio Art. Because of that, I and because of AP art classes in high school, I've taken a lot of drawing and painting, printmaking, not so much printmaking, but like drawing, painting, I did a ceramics class, I've done a lot of like t -t 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 <laughs> the traditional things you think of when you think art. Um, this class, the thing, the work you just saw is for computer applications and art, and I have a motion graphics class, but those two classes are the only like digital things I've ever done for art that I've I mean, other than middle school, just doing stuff for fun, these are the only things I've ever done, like, to turn in, or professionally, professionally, like, please, but, like, y you know what I'm trying to say, I've never really focused on it, um, I mostly, even, like, when I was doing stuff for fun, it was mostly, like, hand-drawn or hand-painted art, so I have a lot of physical artworks that I could show you guys, a lot of sketches, like, back there, that black thing you'll see is my portfolio and a drawing board behind it because I have drawing two in the mornings. So I could show you guys a lot of my artwork. And you know what? I'm a, I might make a video of that. Yeah, but I really enjoyed vlogging all this week because, like, I don't know, I just like checking in with you guys. I like you seeing the progress of my week and, like, where I'm going. Also, that project that I just showed you is way better. Way better than the bullcrap I just turned in. Like, it was such terrific trash, like garbage in the dumpster. And there's this one guy in my class, his last project and his current one were so good. He's, like, actually so good at the stuff we're learning. And I'm like, sir, you're gonna snatch my job. Like, if we ever apply for the same job, KG who? KG where? Hmm. He's <laughs> far more talented than I am, far superior, he just has much, much, much higher mastery of the craft, and we're both black, so I can't even pull the, um, what is it, what, what is it, diversity card, because he's black too, so I got nothing, <laughs> he's really good, and his project was so good, it just made mine look even worse, like I already knew it was trash, but then I saw his, and I was like, wow, I could have did that, but I did this. Wow. But anyways, class is over, and I'm excited to go home. It's 6.30, and normally I wait until 7 or 8 to go home, so I don't have to deal with any traffic, but I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm ready to be in my house. Like, I'm sick. I'm ill. I don't feel like sitting here and doing homework like I normally would. I'm going straight home. I don't care. I don't care. We'll see if I talk to you guys throughout the weekend. Hopefully I do. Or else this vlog is gonna end in a really awkward place. Bye, it's Thursday. But hopefully, hopefully you get some weekend videos too. About to pull off, but I saw this and I had to show y'all. Homebro is holding his mirror together with packing tape. Are we seeing at like. Wow. Good morning. It is 10 16 a.m. on Friday. I woke up about 
ten minutes ago, threw myself together in some whatever clothes, and I'm going to the dentist now to get some cavities filled. Dentist always says, you gotta brush your teeth, and you gotta floss. And so then I do that, and I still get cavities. It's the most annoying thing in the world, because every time they find a cavity, they're just like, make sure you're flossing. And I'm like, okay, I am flossing. Make sure you come up with something new to say to me. Like, I don't know what to tell you, sis. They just patronize me every time. So make sure you're flossing. And I really don't want to go do this. Like, you're just going to stab me with needles. Make my mouth hurt. Make me taste, like, my teeth. You know, when they drill your teeth out, you can, like, taste the teeth dust. It's just never a fun experience and I don't want to do it. But you know I'm going because I don't really have a choice. And I'm just going to pretend I'm enjoying myself. I'll check in with you guys later on this lovely Friday. I'm back from the dentist and <laughs> I feel like I look like the Joker. Like I feel like I look like I belong in an insane, in, 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 in an insane, insane asylum, bro. Wow. Well, okay. So half of my mouth is not. Can you guess which half? <laughs> like I had to get three numbing shots, and I always get nervous for them because I'm like, what if it hurts? And it never does hurt. But like I was just like, what if it hurts? So I always get nervous, but it doesn't hurt. I had to get three, and the numbing, like, spread to, like, okay, obviously, if you haven't been able to tell, this side of my mouth is the numb side, and then it spread up to my nose, so I can't feel, like, this nostril, really, and the back of my throat, so, like, when I swallow, it's, like, confusing, like, like, hello, so it's kind of like, am I breathing right now, like, who really knows, and when I smile, I look like Ezra, Edward Scissorhands owes me a favor. Like, this is, <laughs> and, like, okay, one weird thing about being numb is being able to feel your, like, on your hands or whatever, but not being able to feel on your face. So, like, I can touch my face, and, like, I, ooh, ooh, I can feel my face with my finger, but I can't feel my finger with my face. I love still weird. Like, if you ever, like, like, I feel like if you touch your lips, you know, they don't really feel like that. This side feels different than this side. Like, this side is, like, you know, normal. This side is, like, squishy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all my lips are squishy. It's just different, like, because you can't feel it. But, like, here's my teeth. They're the same. This is now part of them are fake because I have cavities. Because I'm stink. Because I can't full loss. And I did not eat breakfast before I came here. They were like, we hope you ate before you came here because I mean, you could try to eat, but good luck, sis. I'm going to eat, okay? And I'm going to have a great time doing it. I'm going to go home and cook some food. I think I'm going to eat eggs or cereal. I don't know, but I'm going to eat one of the two. And I'm going to eat it. And it's going to go great. And I don't care that half my face is numb. I don't care. Let's drink some water. Mm, the suction is not going well. Mm. Water drank. No issues in sight. I'm gonna go eat this meal. Alright, I'm tired of down angle. Why are you always down below? This is not working. Okay, well, welcome to my double chins. Um, I was more than ready to eat cereal, but my box of cereal is just gone. It just ever vanished when the heathens in my household ate my cereal. So I have a mini microwavable uh, White Castle burgers. White castles are like crystals. 
They're just little square little burgers. And we're going to attempt to eat that. He said to eat only on the not known side of my mouth, so that's what I'm going to do. This is so much harder than it should be. Okay, well, it looks like it's going to take me six years to eat these burgers, but thanks for coming to my mukbang. I'll see y'all later on this lovely Friday. And when I see you later, hopefully I'm not going to be numb anymore. Hopefully I'm not just going to make fun of myself in this video for 45 minutes. I was drooling all over the place in the doctor's office. Like, I didn't even know because my whole face is burned. I couldn't even feel it. Okay, bye.